right hello guys so we are on this next video on accessibility and i am going to demonstrate um, the the talkback tool on android which is a screen reader and we'll see how a um, person who cannot see the screen um, still interacts with the android device using the stream right? um, it's not just for users who need that assistance but this tool is recommended for developers so um, while you are developing the app, um, you should take a look at it. I mean, you should use this tool to make sure your app has a good accessibility content. Okay. So uh, let me let me first show you where you can find it and how you can install it, and then I'll blindfold myself myself and demonstrate. Okay. So yeah, you can see my screen. This is the settings and scroll down till you find accessibility in this accessibility it will tell you what kind of accessibility features are there on this device you have screen readers you have visibility enhancements hearing enhancements and so on we'll take a look at some other of these later but uh, this is the one we are interested in right now so installed services talkback and four other services uh, now you won't have these by default. So what you should do is go to Play Store and search for accessibility. And you will find this Android accessibility suite. I have installed it. You can go ahead and install it. Um, it contains all these tools, but if not, so yeah, let's let's see this about this app, right? Um, it includes talkback. Um, yeah, here it includes talkback, accessibility menu, and more. Um, so make sure this is installed, otherwise you won't see the same things that we see here. All right. Okay, now I'm going to put down my glasses. Put on. A blindfold that I have borrowed from last time I flew it. Um, okay. And oh, well, I think I should turn it on um, before that. You know, just so talk back comes up here and, and turning it on it allows us for full control. And uh, then, yeah, I have English India, so it's asking for um, it's telling me that it's not supported and it will. Change it to English US. Okay. okay so now. Oh. Okay. Mindful now. I hope you could hear that. Um, I'll check the video before recording, of course, but I hope you could hear that. So, yeah, right now I cannot see anything. Uh, and I'm behaving like a visually impaired person who is trying to access the phone. So what happens now? So I can move my finger over this. Okay. So when I take my finger there, it highlights it with a visual cue, which I cannot see right now uh, because I'm I'm being like completely blind. Uh, but if someone has a visual, some other visual impairments where they can say see partially or see blurred, they can perhaps see that uh, rectangle around. Them this particular widget here, right? Um, I'll keep moving my finger. So it's telling me what, what's on the finger. Right. So uh, one of the things I picked up from there is swipe right or left to switch between items. So let's do that. Okay. 
So now I realize that it's just you know, circling between those three options. Right now, I don't want the screen. I want to go to my home screen. I know the home button is somewhere near the bottom. Navigation bar. Double tap to activate. Double tap to hold. It's a recent button. So home button. I want to activate it. So double tap. Okay. So now I think I am on the home screen, right? So let's see what all apps I have here. Weather info. Weather info. It's just screening out the names of the apps. Um, it's out the names of the apps and then tells me that double tap to activate. Right. I want to go to the clock app. Cheat and uh, yeah. Oh, there is no clock here. Right, right, right. right. I remember that. My bad. I need to go to the uh, to the app launcher to find the clock. Okay. And so since now scrolling with uh, one finger is basically moving from uh, one icon to another. Um, you should, if you're if you're on the scroll, you should scroll with two fingers. Okay. This is page two of two. I think clock is on page one. So I'll scroll with uh, two fingers. Okay, now there is a all the lines. Ah, double tap, yes. okay. Clock, double tap. I want to set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay. Let's see. Not selected. Reset timer. 10 minutes. Double tap and activate. Double tap and hold. Long rest. Zero hour 10. Zero, zero hour 10 box. Okay, Double zero hours. Edit, edit, edit box. Edit box. Tap, edit, Let's say I want to set it for five. So, Okay, zero five zero is good. Four. No, I want zero five. Zero five. Okay, one second. Okay, so when I double tapped on the start button, then it didn't told me about the pause button. It didn't really tell me that at the time when I started. Um, okay, then it said there is a pause button. But, um, I know that on the clock app, there are other things like uh, there is a world clock. Um, let's see if it, I can go there. That's an arm. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what all shows on there. Okay, so 
So if I cannot find it, I should just write. Absolutely. And I can, so by the way, double type can happen anywhere when a particular widget is selected. So it's on add city, I'll do a double tap. Swipe so I go hopefully somewhere else on the map. San Francisco. Okay, San Francisco is good. How do I add it? San Francisco. Search button. Pass city. Search button. Pass city. Pass button. Maybe San Francisco was added. Okay. All right. I think I should. Uh, I can uh, stop this demo here um, and switch it to our units tab. Right. Um, just to speed things up, I'll unblindfold myself. Um, but we'll keep the talkback mode on. Um, okay. Home. And. And there is the units app. Okay, so you remember this from the testing um, activity. So it's telling us units, etc. So blindfold again, and let's see. Okay. So that's the toggle switch. Showing Samsung keyboard. Is it not able to make on the keyboard? It's not showing Samsung keyboard. Five. Ah, is, yeah, five. So, five. so that should be five entered. Zero. Zero. Okay. Zero. Zero entered, right? I want to convert. 50 Celsius to that end. Uh, okay, it says on button, it doesn't say which button. Okay, so that's a, that's a little problem there. Should I activate it and then? 122.0. Yeah, so that is the output, right? So 55 Celsius or 50 Celsius is that much per okay. So that's how you can see how your app is. As, um, as we notice the, the button, it's fine. It's not telling us, I mean, it's not able to read the button uh, because we haven't given that execution. That's the timer, and I think you know, we should stop here. Okay. All right. So what I'll do here is uh, yeah, dismiss this and go to talkback. No, not Google Play Store. I'm going to go to settings. Yeah. And turn this off. Okay. All right. So that was a demo of uh, talkback. My glasses. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys to do this for, um, for for the for for the first assignment. So the end of the app. Okay. Um, there is a there is a question prompt in our write up. Um, where I ask you to use talkback on your uh, app and uh, then then, then uh, accessibility scanner and make some changes. Okay. So yeah. Um,